Mark chapter 16 says to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses um, in all of Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and into the uttermost parts of the earth. I believe that the mission of the Pentecostal Church of God is for us to be a witness in our own neighborhoods, in our own communities, in the marketplace, in our own villages and cities, and throughout the entire world. I believe that uh, we're called to not only preach and teach and make, make disciples, but to raise up leaders in this time that we're living. Well, with the introduction of One Mission, One Movement in 2018, I'm really anticipating that is in, in the second century of the Pentecostal Church of God that many souls are going to be one to the kingdom of God and not only one to the kingdom of God but they're going to be equipped and prepared for service themselves. Uh, through prayer I anticipate a uh, great outpouring of the Holy Spirit throughout the Pentecostal Church of God. I'm anticipating uh, for our local churches to grow, anticipating the districts to grow, and also anticipating on the national level that we are going to grow. And uh, we're part of something that's bigger than ourselves. And I really truly anticipate that if we come together as one, we can do something great for God in the second century Pentecostal Church of God. Well, I love PCG history. And what continues to resonate for me is that we were birthed as a missional movement. Such statements like uh, aggressive evangelism, uh, taking the gospel to those who are outside Pentecost, and the great need in Pentecostalism of a cooperative evangelistic campaign are examples of how missional we were. In fact, I was talking to Dr. Larry Martin, one of our historians, and he mentioned that while other denominations were establishing doctrinal statements and bylaws, the Pentecostal Church of God was just interested in taking the gospel around the world. And so in the first century, we were really birthed as a missional movement. And in the second century, that's what we must live as, a missional movement. I believe our mandate is to be a global church with a global mission. Um, I believe I'm serving in leadership uh, and I can only but share the things that I have seen and heard. And what I have seen and heard in my spirit is the importance of living as one mission, one movement, as a global church with a global mission. Think about the idea that now we have nations that have nearly as many, if not more, PCG members than the United States. Nations like Brazil, the Philippines, Ethiopia. So we are a multinational, multicultural, multi-generational church. And our mandate is now to filter everything through the grid of living as that missional movement. If we're not winning the loss and equipping and sending the found, we need to cast it as far as the east is from the west. Filter everything through that grid. Um, the grid of multiplying ministers and missionaries and church planters and church leaders. That's what we're, we're called to do for a PCG 2.0. So our destiny lies in our passion and commitment to to live as a global church is a global mission. The exciting news for us is that the Pentecostal Church of God has yet to write the second chapter because this is a divinely providential moment with a divinely providential assignment. We get to partner or enter into this sacred cooperation with God to write this brand new chapter. And if I could speak with the tongue of the learned a word in season, I would, I would say to our second century PCG, you are our secret weapon. 
you are the ones who will write the second chapter for the Pentecostal Church of God. You will change the missional and ecclesiastical landscape of the PCG. You will impact eternity. And that's why I'm excited because we have great strategies and plans, but our secret weapon and the greatest asset we have is our people. And if we unleash people to fulfill their calling, their dreams, their visions, we will write an incredible PCG 2.0. In fact, that will be a Pentecostal Church of God, not just worth dying for, but worth living for. <laughs>